Okay, so on to question number three. How do you calculate the standard molar enthalpy of formation? So enthalpy, I'll just give a brief definition, is basically like the internal energy of a system. So when we want to find the enthalpy of a reaction, so it can be any reaction, like a combustion reaction, or in this case, enthalpy of formation, it would just be the following. So let's say we had just a balanced chemical reaction. So the lowercase letters are the coefficients that are used to balance the reaction. And the uppercase uh, will be that element. So let's say we had this balanced reaction. If I wanted to find the delta H of the reaction, this would be equal to the sum of the delta H of formation for the products minus the sum of the delta H of formation of the reactants. Okay, so now let's try to plug in what these values would look like if I were to use uh, the example of the reaction above. So this would be equal to, first I'm going to look at um, the sum of the molar enthalpy of formations for all the products. So this is like our elements C and D. And notice that I have an N in front of all of the values as well. So this shows that uh, the coefficients or how many mo molecules of each um, play a role in calculating the delta H. So for example, this would be lowercase c times the delta H of formation for compound C plus lowercase d times the delta H of formation for compound D. Okay, so this represents the first uh, factor of our equation. All of this will be, will have, um, the delta H of formation sums of all the reactants. So here it'll be lowercase a times the delta H of formation of compound A plus lowercase b times the delta H of formation of compound B. Okay, so this is how you would calculate the standard molar enthalpy of formation. So generally in a question, they'll give you a balanced uh, chemical reaction, and they'll also give you the different delta H of formation for all of the products and reactants that are involved. And then from there, you are able to calculate the standard molar enthalpy of the reaction. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Enthalpy is a thermodynamic function defined by this equation, where H is equal to E plus PV. E is the internal energy of the system, and pressure and volume, and P and V are the pressure and volume of the system. 
Enthalpy of reaction is the difference between the enthalpies of the products and the enthalpies of the reactant. Okay, so they have here delta H is equal to the enthalpies of the products minus reactants. Note that we cannot measure the absolute value of the enthalpy of substance and can also determine the values relative to an arbitrary reference. For our purposes, we will use the enthalpy expressions called standard enthalpy of formation. Recall that the standard state is at 1 atm. By convention, we assign delta H of formation of any element in its most stable form as 0. For example, the delta H of formation of O2 is 0, but for O3, it's 142.2 kilojoules per mole. Thus, the definition of delta H of a compound is the heat change that results when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements at a pressure of 1 atm. Knowing the standard enthalpy of formation, we can readily calculate the standard enthalpy of reaction given a chemical equation. Okay, so here they just show the general chemical equation that I have also written down and also the standard enthalpy of reaction equation as well. The generalized equation would be um, the following. There are two approaches to solving this. We can use the direct method or the indirect method. So um, I showed the example for the direct method. They also mentioned the indirect method using Hess's law. Hess's law states that when reactants are converted to products, the change in enthalpy is the same whether the reaction takes place in one step or in a series of steps. This means that if you have a set of reactions, so here they just have, they show how one would form um, a compound AB just by giving A2 plus B. So they break it up into different steps. So first is the bond dissociation of A2 to make 2A. The second step is A plus B to make AB. And then they have the final step. So the step two is like an intermediate where A2 plus B makes AB. Yep, so if we were to cross out um, anything that is the same on both sides, then we end up getting uh, the uh, reaction 3. So they say here the enthalpy of reaction 1 and 2 is the same as the enthalpy of reaction 3. So if we just look at 1 and 2, you'll notice that 2A is on the products of reaction 1, and there's a single A as a reactant of reaction 2. So that therefore we can cross out the A in reaction 2, and we can cross out one of the A's there as well. Yep, so I'll just verify that this solution is correct.